I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the Nanahill Outdoor Center. This is my seventh year at NOC. I actually grew up kayaking on this river when I was a child. So I've been coming here for years and years and it's one of my favorite places on earth. Why? Uh, did you want to have the World Championships here in Nantahala Gorge? Well, freestyle is one of the fastest growing competitive paddle sports disciplines in the world. And it was really started in the United States, yet we haven't had a World Championship freestyle event in the U.S. since 1993 when it was held on the Ocoee River. So we felt it was, it was more than time to bring the event back to the United States and really try to connect it with the large recreational paddling base of the United States. There are more paddlers who live in the United States than anywhere in the world. And we wanted to introduce the discipline as a freestyle discipline to an unparalleled audience. We're going to have over 10,000 spectators here over the weekend. Um, we're doing a, a live uh, web stream. We're doing a national TV broadcast across the United States. Um, and we really wanted, again, to introduce freestyle hiking to, the, to an unparalleled audience. So we're very excited it's here in the Nanahilla Gorge. What, what do you think it means to have an event like this here, you know, in Nantahala Gorge, but also what does it mean for the wider region? One of the most important aspects of this event was the legacy that the event would create. We've had 22 Olympians work at NOC, including two Olympic champions, and in the 40-year history of NOC, and we wanted to look for the next 40 years and build a foundation for the future in terms of competitive paddle sports. So the event legacy is, is incredibly important, especially in branding the Nantahala as a world-class, world championship caliber uh, river. The Ocoee River, which is only an hour from here, forever known as America's Olympic River, now we have the Nantahala River as a world championship river as well. We're at day four of the competition. What have you enjoyed most so far? Can you share some of the highlights with us? I think the best part for me so far is the amount of guest engagement that we're having during the event. One of our, uh, we were very purposeful in the planning of the event that we wanted to make the event and paddle sports as approachable as possible. So we have a variety of different kinds of races for all kinds of ages and skill levels happening right here during the event as well as the freestyle feature you see behind me, we built it very intentionally to suit a wide variety of skill sets. So literally a Nanahala paddler, an intermediate paddler, can use and kayak on the exact same competition feature as the upcoming world champion. And that's something that you just don't see very often in any kind of competitive discipline where you can have basically a beginner or intermediate use the same course as an expert or world champion. And, well, and I can imagine that, that an event like this is if from a staff perspective, but also from a customer perspective. It's a little bit different than the daily, well, let's call it routine. <laughs> right. Um, is it exciting for them, do you think? Th th this is thrilling for our entire community and our staff, and we want to use this event as a springboard for more events of this caliber in the future, whether it's national championships, world championships, col in collaboration with the ICF to hopefully bring more world uh, championship caliber races here to the Nanahala. We have a fantastic event venue. We have an electric audience here who are really passionate about paddle sports, very educated in paddle sports, and this is a perfect event hosting venue for more international competition. Yeah. Wow. I've, I've heard you saying some a few interesting things. So the first was hey, that this feature cannot, will not only be used by the elite, the world champions, but secondly, uh, you also have in mind, well, some interesting ideas for the future. So that, well, it sounds promising. <laughs> Absolutely. We built the feature with technology called a wave shaper. So we can actually go in and change the characteristics of the wave to fit different audiences. We can make it a very beginner friendly feature, an intermediate friendly feature, or an expert uh, world championship feature. And it gives us a lot of flexibility in terms of holding different kinds of events, whether we're shaping it for a freestyle purposes or for a slalom race or for just a fun stand-up paddleboard competition. So yeah. we can, it gives us a lot of flexibility in terms of how we use the river here at the NOC. Yeah, well, so it sounds fantastic and I can't wait for well, future events. Thank you very much. Absolutely, thank you.